What is up guys, Restless Dude here and welcome back to the Barcelona career mode. So in the last episode we won our first trophy of the season beating Athletic Club 3-0 in the Supercopa final. We also signed Guardiol from Leipzig to have proper depth in the center back area. So we have a lot of big games this episode, Atletico Madrid in the league, Sevilla in the, in the Copa del Rey semifinals, and Atlanta in the Champions League round of 16. So I'm looking forward to that. So our first game of the episode is going to be against Atletico Madrid, and the thing is, if we beat them, we'll have a 15-point lead over them at the top of the table. So that would be a, a great sight to see. So I'm not messing around here, I'm going with my strongest team. Fadi, Aguero, Depay up front, Pedri, Lisandro and De Jong in midfield, Alba, Laporte, Araujo and Dest in defense, with Ter Stegen in goal. Let's go. Nice Araujo, but he loses it somehow. But he still recovers. So now Pedri, Lisandro, he managed to hold off his man. Aguero, Pedri, I see De Jong, back to Pedri, I'm just gonna shoot, but Oblak makes the save. Can we score our header? What was that from Atletico? Were they trying to score an own goal? Okay, that was weird. Llorente, Suarez, okay, this is not good. But Ter Stegen makes a huge save there. Let's just get it away. And we do. Fadi on the ball. Let's go. I need some support. De Jong. Can Aguero make the run? He can. But is he fast enough? De Jong. And Oblak makes a big save there to deny De Jong a goal. He's offside, right? No? Okay, but Alba... Recovers. Lisandro. I see De Jong making a run. And he steals the ball. Okay, De Jong. Memphis. I need runners in the box. Someone. Depay. And Aguero scores in the end. Thank goodness. I thought we missed a big chance there to take the lead at last. Let's see that again. The pie makes the run. He keeps it in, passes to Aguero. The first shot is saved, but Aguero puts in the rebound. Thank goodness, because we should have been in the lead earlier. But we're in the lead now, and that's all that matters. 11 goals for Aguero. And with that, we have a 1 0 lead against the Lego. And they give the ball away instantly. Dest. Can Dest score? Nope, it's saved by Oblak, and no one's there to put in the rebound. It's the 65th minute, and Aguero is low on stamina, so we'll play the pie in the striker position, and we'll bring on Dembele to play on the right wing. Also, um, we'll have uh, Gonzalez. No, let's uh, give Ricky Push a chance to play instead of Pedri, because Pedri is also tired. Memphis. De Jong. Memphis is making a run. Can he score? No, because Oblak makes another huge save. This is not looking good. Griezmann. Can he score? Yep. Griezmann scores against his former club. Uh, so frustrating to see. I think I could have done a little better, better there, but... Well, it is what it is. But to be honest, I'll, I'll take even a draw. We'll still have 12 points. Uh, we'll still have a 12-point lead. Dest steals that. Lissandro, De Jong, Dembele is making a run, can he score? Can Fadi score? He does! Finally we beat Oblak again. Oblak has been nothing but perfect in this game, but 
finally we crack crack the crack him. Just look at that. Dembele should have scored there, but thankfully Ansu Fadi was at the right place at the right time as we get our lead back against Atletico. And who else but Ansu Fadi to score the possible winner as we are now 2-1 up against Atletico. They're just passing it around right now. Come on. Okay, not Suarez. How is that a foul? Is that really a foul? And in a dangerous area. I have no choice but to put a man on the line. Hopefully they don't score. Uh, thankfully it goes to the wall. Just get it away. Okay. That was uh, close. And Atletico. Wait. That was off our player? What the hell? Okay, this is dangerous. Come on. What was that? Please, please don't. Please don't. Just get the ball away. Get the ball away. What are you doing? No. 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 Oh, thankfully. Oh, that was a close one. We. That was one big scare in the last seconds of the game, but Ter Stegen saves us from dropping points. A, a very tight game, but in the end, we walk away with the three points, and now we have a 15-point lead at the top of the table. Just look at that. 15 points ahead of Atletico Madrid, 16 points ahead of Real Madrid. Thanks us, us Barcelona fans love to see. But now the focus shifts back to the Copa del Rey as we take on Sevilla in the first leg of the semifinals. So a number of rotations need to be made for this match due to stamina issues. Fadi Aguero and Demir up front, Pedri, Nico and Gavi in midfield. By the way, shout out to Gavi for making his debut in the Spanish national team. Alba, Guardiol, Garcia and Mengeza in defense. And I'm still going to give uh, Peña a start in the Copa del Rey games. So that is my team. Let's go. Come on, Mingeza, deal with that. Someone get the ball, please. And Guardiol gets the ball. Now Nico is pushing forward. Aguero is making a run. Can he make the run? Pass to Fadi. Okay, that was the wrong call. This is not good, but Guardiol deals with that brilliantly. Now they're putting in a cross, and we deal with that. Out to Ansu. Can Ansu deal with that? Can Ansu score? Nope, because it's saved by the keeper. This is not looking good. Uh-oh, they have a lot of numbers forward. And they score. What the hell happened here? Sevilla had so many numbers up front. Let's see. What was my defense doing? Okay, Eric Garcia didn't deal with that. And Guardiola was pretty much left on his own there. Can't really blame Peña because they played the ball perfectly. And Rakitic, a former Barcelona player, gives Sevilla the lead. Gavi. Ugh. Nico, come on. He needs to be stronger there. But Eric saves us there. I see Pedri making a run. Can he make the run? He just about can. That's a foul, right? Yep. No card, unfortunately. But we have a free kick in a dangerous position. So, who's the best free kick taker? Apparently, it's Aguero. So, let's just see what we can do. Can Aguero score? That was not bad. It was going in, but the keeper was quick to react to that. Petri. Ansu Fati is making a run. Can Ansu Fati score? He can. A shot at the near post and we are tied at 1-1. Finally we make the breakthrough. 
let's see that again. Pedri plays in far on Safari and Fali just shoots at the near post. Nothing that the, the keeper can do about that, especially from that range. And at halftime, we're gonna go in tied at 1 1. They play it centrally. Come on, this is not good. Did they seriously score a long shot? Like, come on. Long shots are too overpowered in this game. I mean, even from that range, it should be a, a little harder to score long shots. In my opinion, they do, Sevilla don't deserve to lead after a goal like that. Nico. Aguero is making a run. Can we equalize immediately? Nope. The keeper makes the save to keep Sevilla at 2-1. Uh-oh. I think I screwed up there. Yep. I absolutely did. As Sevilla make it 3-1. Yeah, that was my mistake there. Dragging Eric Garcia away. I think I lost uh, control of him for a bit and that cost us dearly. Well, I was go I was planning to make some changes anyway because yeah, we needed something extra in the team. So, unfortunately, Gonzalez will have to come off because he didn't he did not have a good game. Um yeah, I'm not going to do anything to the defense because I think that was my mistake. So, so yeah, Dembele will come on, and so will Memphis Depay. Hopefully these changes can do something. Dembele, can he score? Okay, what was that? I think I messed up the dribble there. Come on, make a mistake. Nope. And Yaza recovers the ball. Pedri, Dembele. Gavi, I see a player, but the interception prevents us from scoring. And it's a, it's a disappointing first leg for us, as we take a 3-1 loss against Sevilla. Well, we, we do have a glimmer of hope in that one away goal, because away goals are still a thing in, uh, in, the, in the Copa del Rey, in the semifinals. So yeah. So yeah, we 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 will have to win 2-0 uh, in the second leg somehow. So it's a tough loss to take against Sevilla, but let's rem remember Barcelona were 2-0 down after the first leg uh, in the 2021 uh, uh, Copa, uh, Copa del Rey semifinals and they managed to win the second leg 3-0. So we have to keep that in mind for motivation in that uh, second decisive second leg. So next we have Espanyol in La Liga, but I'm just gonna quick sim this game because we have bigger games to worry about. And unfortunately we take another loss through a simulation. How ironic. Like, these simulations are still broken in my opinion. There's no way we should be losing to Espanyol when we, we played our strongest 11. That's just ridiculous. But whatever. So I finished converting one of our most promising youngsters in Alberto Silva to a cam, and he went up by four ratings. So yeah, he's definitely more of a t an attacking player. But the problem is, we don't re really play a formation with a cam, so I'm gonna try to convert him to a left winger, because that's actually a position we could use some additional depth. Let's see how many weeks it's going to take. Okay, two weeks. I can deal with that. So next we have a game against Valencia. And because we have Atlanta coming up in the Champions League in just a few days' time, I'm I'm forced to make a lot of changes for, for this team. So Dembele, Depay and Demir up front. Puig, Lisandro and Gavi in midfield. Balde, Garcia, Araujo and Dest in defense. With Ter Stegen and goal. Let's go. 
Gavi. Back to Demir. Can Demir score? No, the keeper makes the save. And what is the keeper doing there? Okay, this is not good. But thankfully, Araujo is there. What is this? Come on, Sir Stegen. Okay, even we are shaky at the back. Dembele. Gavi shoots, but it's straight at the keeper. Dest steals the ball again. Ricky? He's offside, isn't he? He's not? Okay, I thought Depay was surely offside, but... Thankfully, he isn't. Okay, let's take a closer look. Okay, this is a bad angle, but... Yeah, I don't know how the pie was onside, but he is. And so, <laughs> we have a 1-0 lead against Valencia. Gavi, Dest, can he find Demir? He can. Now the pie is making a run. Can the pie get there? He can, but the keeper is there to block the shot. Now Balde. Memphis? Can Memphis score the second one? Nope. Valencia deal with that. Nice. Dembele. Demir is making a run. Can Demir score? Okay, that was a great tackle to, to, pre to save Valencia. Come on, Araujo. And Araujo deals with that. Gavi. He finds Ricky. Come on, Depay. I need you to make the run. The pie is making a run. Can he score the second one? He can. 2 0 up against Valencia at halftime. This match is going much better than the Sevilla game. Let's see that again. Ricky with the assist. And the pie with a simple finish. And the referee is gonna blow the whistle now. Balde, out to Dembele, Memphis, back to Dembele, Dembele is making a run, can Dembele score? No, nope. the keeper makes the save. To be fair, it was a pretty tough angle. Sandro, Demir, can Demir score? What was that, Demir? Come on, that was on your stronger left foot. Dembele, Ricky, can Memphis score? No, the keeper makes the save. Memphis is on a hat trick, isn't he? Let's try to score from a corner. And that was. Well, at least Araujo connected with the header, but yeah, that was off target. But only slightly. Okay, let's make us some changes because I do want some some of my players fit for that Atlanta game. So Mingeza will come in for uh, Dest. Um, De Jong will come in for Lisandro, and yeah, I also want the pie fit. So let's try playing on Sufari as that center forward as that false nine. Let's see how that works. Well, that is dangerous. Demir, Fadi, can he score? No, the keeper makes another save. Is this keeper on drugs or something? How is he making so many good saves? Ricky, Fadi, Gavi, Fadi is in open space. Can Fadi score? No, because this keeper makes another save. This is getting ridiculous at this point. Ricky, can he find someone? Ansu, out to Gavi, can Gavi score? No, because he shoots it way wide of the post. Ansu recovers the ball. Demir, uh, they intercepted that, but it's gonna be full time now. As we walk away with a 2-0 win against Valencia. 
this is a great result considering uh, we had a lot of youngsters starting in this game. So this win is giving us all the confidence we need going into that Atlanta game. Okay, this is crazy. Iker Ortiz, the central midfielder that we signed for for our youth academy, we converted him to a right winger and he's now 60 rated. So he went 18 ratings up. So so yeah, apparently this guy might make the first team as well someday. So yeah, let's uh, put a development plan on him. He's right-footed, so it doesn't make sense to um to to develop him as a right winger let's convert him to a left winger just like Ansufari. by the way he's argentinian so who knows maybe he's the next messi <laughs> so with that win against valencia we extend our lead at the top of the table to 14 points despite losing that simulation against the uh, espanol because atletico keep dropping points but now the, sh the focus shifts to, to the Champions League as we take on Atlanta in the first leg of the round of 16. So I'm going with my strongest lineup against Atlanta. Fadi, Aguero and Depay in attack. I'm benching Dembele because I haven't seen uh, much from him uh, this, uh, these last few games. Plus Aguero and Depay are in great form so there's no need to bench them. Pedri, Lissandro and De Jong in midfield. Alba, Laporte, Araujo and Destin defense with Ter Stegen in goal. Atlanta are not to be underestimated when it comes to the Champions League. We've all seen that they can produce some shock results against pretty much anyone they come up with. So, so yeah, I'm not messing around here. So this is the Atlanta team we're facing. I see Ilicic starting. I think uh, I saw Demiral in defense, who's a quality center back, by the way, on loan from Juventus, I believe. So yeah, he could be a tricky defender to come come up against. Also, Gosens on the on the in the left midfield position, who was actually linked to Barcelona, I believe. But now. We face Atlanta in the round of 16. Back to De Jong. Lisandro. Aguero. Pedri. He's making a run, but the Atlanta defense deals with that. Aguero. I see a runner. Uh, De Jong nearly puts us in the lead, but the Atlanta defense deals with that. But Laporte steals the ball. We still have it. Nope, not anymore. Nice. Okay, out to De Jong. Can De Jong score? Nope, the touch was too heavy. De Jong. Pedri. Out to Alba. Aguero. I see De Jong. And we take the lead against Atlanta. That was a lot of passing to get that goal, but but it was worth it. I mean, it's only the start of the game. We don't need to be so so quick about our gameplay. Just look at that. <laughs> 
Elbow to Aguero, Aguero lays it off for De Jong, and De Jong just shoots and scores. Yeah, this this keeper is not saving <laughs> that, unlike that, unlike the Valencia keeper in that previous game who was pretty much saving everything we threw at him. But anyway, we are already 1-0 up against Atlanta. Memphis. De Jong is making a run. Can he score a second one? No. Nope. And they get it away after the keeper makes a big save there. Okay, that was a mistake. Come on, Alba. Okay, this is not good. Ilicic on the ball. This is not looking great. Come on. Oh, thankfully, Ter Stegen is there to save us. Okay, that was a very risky pass, but it worked out. Laporte. Lisandro. Can he find De Jong? He can. De Jong. Aguero. De Jong is making a run. Okay. I'm not taking any chances. I'm just laying it off for Ansu Fati. And it worked out. As we now have a 2-0 lead against Atlanta. Let's see there. I saw the space. So Aguero, I passed it to De Jong with Aguero. De Jong made the run, but I was not confident uh, with uh, my finishing from that angle. So I think uh, the right thing to do was to lay it off our on Safari, and it worked out as we are 2 0 up against Atlanta now. Pedri. Okay, that was a bad pass, but on Safari helps us recover the ball there. Pedri. Can we shoot with Pedri? We can, and that was pretty close. But it, it just goes above the crossbar. Okay, that was not what I wanted to do, but it doesn't matter. As we go in into halftime, being 2 0 up against Atlanta. This game is going a lot better than I thought it would, because this is Atlanta we're facing. And they're known to be a tricky team in the Champions League. So I'm pretty happy with, with our performance so far. Let's just keep a clean sheet and even score more goals. Nice. We recover the ball. Okay, that was a pretty risky pass. And not where I wanted it to go. De Jong. Aguero is making a run. Pedri. Back to Aguero. Can we score a third one? We can, as now Aguero is getting on the score sheet. This is so far our best match uh, of, the, of the episode. 3-0 up against Atlanta in the Champions League. And it's not even 60 minutes, I think. So there's still time for us to score even more goals. Three 0 against Atlanta. Pedri. Hansu is making a run. Is he on side? Please be on side. Keep the ball. Dribble inside. Aguero. Can he score? Nope. The defender comes in with the tackle. And this is looking bad. Come on, Araujo. What was that, Araujo? Come on. No, please don't. Oh, thank goodness Ter Stegen makes the save. He wants that clean sheet as uh, as much as I do. Just get it away. Nice, Ansu. And Pedri... Will he steal that? Nope. De oh yeah, that's the middle. No wonder Pedri was not able to recover there. But this is not looking good. As Ter Stegen is forced to make another save. Out to Lissandro, Aguero, Memphis. Can Memphis score? Nope. The keeper makes a huge save there. While we're at it, make, let's make some substitutions. Uh, Depay will play at the striker position because Aguero is very low on stamina. So let's bring on Dembele. I'll also bring on Ricky Puig for Pedri. Any other changes? Nah, th this is all I need. 
And the referee blows the whistle as we take a 3-0 lead against Atlanta going into the second leg. 3-0 win, away, away from home, I'll take it. This perform the performance was much better than I expected, especially with Atlanta's 3-4-3 uh, formation, I believe. But yeah, a 3-0 lead, I think we're set to make the quarterfinals, but but that doesn't mean I'm not going to take the, uh, the second leg seriously. I'll still play the second leg, because who knows what uh, can happen in the Champions League. Let's see how the other round of 16 ties played out. Real Madrid beat PSG 3-1. Manchester United lost 2-1 to Atletico Madrid. So it's looking like Messi and Ronaldo are not going to make the quarterfinals for a second consecutive season. Juventus beat Wolfsburg 1-0. We won against uh, Atlanta. Sevilla beat the defending champions Chelsea 2-1. That's, that's interesting. Dortmund versus Inter finishes 1-1. Manchester City won 4-2 against Sporting. And Liverpool versus Bayern finished in a 2-2 draw. So yeah, a lot, of, a lot of these ties are still open. But I think Manchester City and Real Madrid are set to make the quarterfinals. So the second leg against Atlanta will happen in three weeks' time, but that's going to be in the next episode. Oh, and we also have that uh, decisive second leg against Sevilla in the, in the Copa del Rey semifinals. So we'll find out whether we make uh, the Copa del Rey final or not. So thank you all for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe if you have not. And as for me, Restless Dude out.